Surveillance and intelligent traffic management are key to the makings of a smart city. What I have here with me is the Logipix panoramic camera. As you can see, uh, there's many cameras right here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you all about it. I have with me Peter. Peter is going to tell us about what the unit holds. Hi, Peter. Uh, hi. Uh, tell us about Logipix, the panoramic camera. And uh, tell us about how this camera is going to be fit into a smart city, how this would help in surveillance and traffic management. Basically, the Logipix camera uh, built for supervising very wide area uh, where uh, high resolution image is necessary. Necessary for face recognition, necessary for detecting some kind of uh, behavior of the, of, the, of the walking people or even detecting some vehicles uh, uh, driving in the wrong way, stopping in a, in a load space. Uh, the camera has a very unique shape. Uh, it means that we have to minimize the glass of the window in front of the camera to able to clean, to have a washer, to keep uh, uh, the image quality of the camera as high as possible, even in the very strange weather condition in India. So uh, I see that there's about 10 units of cameras inside this box. Basically, 10 units camera, but it's combined together to providing a single, very wide uh, angle picture about the surrounding area. So, uh, the box itself stitches the images together? Uh, yes or no. Basically, the image is delivered independently to the video recorder, and we are stitching the images together during the display time. Uh, can you talk about uh, what are these uh, right here that we see? Are these the wipers to clean the cameras? Basically, the, the most challenging for the older camera system that during the normal operation, the, the dirty is collected uh, on the, on the, in front of the camera. And in this case, the effective resolution of the camera is decreasing, decreasing over the time. So the automatic cleaning let us to regularly clean up the window. We have a water tank here and it, uh, the water capacity is enough for one month. And uh, in one month, in every month, you have to fill up uh, uh, the water tank and it could work without any maintenance uh, uh, for a long time. What about controlling the camera? Is, is, can it be controlled remotely by somebody sitting maybe in a control room or a remote control room? Yes, uh, the biggest challenge that the DENK camera itself generates 10 times more traffic than uh, the single camera solution and those cameras are used here is 20 megapixel each so the total resolution is 200 megapixel resolution it's a quite good it's 1000 times than the normal security camera so the biggest challenge how can we deliver those uh, pixels those information for the control room and we developed a very special uh, technology for that it means that we are delivering only the visible pixels from the video recorder to the control room so what does it mean? We are storing all the pixels for later investigation, but for displaying we are delivering only the visible one. Single monitor could uh, show only 2 megapixels, full HD resolution, and we have 200 megapixels. So it's a waste of time and the bandwidth to deliver everything in all the time. We are uh, delivering only the visible pixel. When we are zooming in, we could send more detailed pictures but from the smaller areas. This is the idea that we are using. This is the technology that let us uh, to install those cameras in big cities, in squares, in railway stations, for border control, for many areas where the uh, wide area coverage is necessary. How good are these cameras in high heat and you know in really cold temperatures? Uh, how good is the unit? How good does this hold? You see that it's not a beautiful unit. It's some kind of monster, uh, but the reason why it should be a monster because it's made from metal, pure metal, no plastic inside it. And we developed a special cooling system for the camera. It means that we suck the heat from the cameras and we efficiently uh, dissipating at the back of the camera. What does it mean? This unit can work up to 60 centigrade air temperature. It could survive the temperature level in Africa, in the Middle East, or even in India, the hottest areas. You've already implemented these solutions uh, in a couple of countries? Yes, uh, basically the Logipix covering uh, all the countries all over the world. Uh, the so now it's time to enter India. What are your India plans? Uh, are you in talks with the government to you know, get these monsters out on the street? <laughs> Basically, uh, we have a, a serious business in the Middle East, 
where the climatic uh, uh, environment conditions are very similar, so I'm sure that it could be successful in the Indian market as well. Great. Uh, what about the cost of uh, one of these units? Uh, how much would it cost to, you know, kind of implement one of these units? It's hard to say what is the cost uh, because it really depends on the installation environment, sure. the pole and so on. Uh, basically, you should know that the cost of the Logitech cameras usually 20-30% of the cost of the biggest, uh, 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 most branded competitors. So this is the reason why we feel that in the Indian market we could be very successful. All right, great, Peter. Thank you for joining us. So uh, that was a look at the Logipix Panorama Camera. We are here at the Smart City Expo, which is happening in Delhi for the second time in Pragati Medan. Keep it with Digit and keep watching our YouTube channel.